we have already configured our git in our local environment in our pc and the next thing that we need to do is we need to find some version control system that we can use with our project so for that we'll be using uh, github so let's go to github here github.com and we need to sign up first and we need to create our account so let's go and create a account first so let's give a username first and let's give an email then let's say then password just sign up for github okay verify your account okay touch the arrow to move it yeah this is a correct fit that's done okay good so we'll use a free account over here to so select the free account or if you want to go for pro account then you can see what are included okay that's it and we'll select continue and we have some more things to set up over here this is a new setup that after it's a recently changed on the previous on the older version of the github that this was not enabled so after microsoft acquired github they have changed something some of the process in sign up so what we need to do is how do you like to describe yourself in a programming experience so you can say very experienced or totally if you are new we say totally new to programming and we say what do you what do you want what do you plan to use git for you can say just a school project or project management or design or we say development and you say which is the closest and how could you describe yourself let's say i'm professional or i'm a student or hobbyist let's say if you are a student you just select all hobbies then i say i'm a professional so what are you interested on just let's say we'll be interested on a every let's say tutorial and android comma web okay and set android that's it so let's submit this one yeah we are done and you can see we have a learn git and github without any code so we have a github ready over here and the what we need to do is we need to create a respirators before we can use it so just click on start new project or new respirator so start new project over here so before we can use we need to verify our email address so let's go and verify email our address and let's come back okay now it says uh, our email address is verified and you can see over here create a new project over here so let's say we want to create a new project and the respiratory name would be my blog that's web so it's for a web and later we can create same for a android so let's give a description this is my blog demo app okay and let us say whether you want to create a private or public so you can choose this anyone can see the respiratory or you can choose you can choose who you can or who can see your commit so if you choose on a private and that's the different you can you can choose who you want your project to be viewed by and or else if you set a public then everyone else can see so let's set as a public and let's everyone view our respiratory and let's create a project over here got it and that's it our project our respiratory is up and what we need to do is we need to configure some of the things that let's say we need to do get in it let's go to our project over here not the android let's open our we need to open php strong so let's open our project so this is our web my blog that's with so we need to open our php strong for it okay let's type our first command which will be git 
in it so that means to initialize a git so let's say git let's say first git and see whether it have a command yeah that git is working and what we need to do second is git in it so this means that git is in a slice here over here you can see c drive sam stdoc my blog that git so if you go over here and let's go to c drive sam and let's go to stdoc and go, let's go to my blog over here and you can see okay here you can see because it's hidden so if you say unhide you can see git in slice over here so the next thing is uh, the next command that we need to run is git dot add git dot add readme.md so let's we don't have any readme.md so what we need to do is we need to create so let's go over here oh sorry let's go to our yeah we can also create from here and let's add a new file from here new file and let's say new file but this is readme.md file let's create this one and let's say well, add it and let's say this each uh you can just type any so demo demo web app so later we can always update it just for this now let's see this is our readme.md so let's close it for now and if you go over here you should see that file so readme.md so the thing that we need to run is here git add readme.md so let's go over here and just run that command git add readme.md okay that's we have added and the next thing the next com command is we need to commit so let's run a command before this so let's say git and status you can see the file that has been the file that is not added to git repository so what we need the, to include that in what will be committed so what we need to do we need to add all of this so for that we need to run a command git add dot so which means git add dot means we are adding everything that is inside our directory so this directory all the file that is inside this directory will be included in our git scope so let's add everything and that's look good fine and the next thing we need to do is commit commit means we will commit the change that we are currently working on so let's go and say git git uh, sorry git commit as m and let's say uh, let's say what is saying that we the first commit or anything else that you want let's say it's the first commit this would be our first commit. Yes, yeah, sorry here. The spelling is gone F. And let's say enter. Failure unable to detect email address. So what we need to do is we need to set a global global email address and also username. So for that we need to run a certain few commands. So let's go and set it. So let's add our username and our email address for our git so let's run some command is git git sorry it's, uh, it's git config and that should be that's that's global global and you should use user the name and user that name it should be binary it solution and that's working good and the next thing is we need to do is user the email and we need to type our email address so let us go over and set what was the email address that i used was okay so let me and 
using the space stimulate address over here and just say that's look fine and now we can run our command which is git commit and the first commit so let's go and say git commit as m and uh, which means that we are adding the message is first commit and you can see we have already added our files to a commit so let's go and push it so how we can push it so the final command you can see get that push that you so which means this will push all of our file to our github so let's go over here and let us run this command it says something is not correct so let's go and see what's not correct over here okay so we think we made some mistake and we have to add we did not run this command so let us go back over here and we need to run this command so let's, let's run this one okay looks fine and the next thing we need to run is git that push that so we need to run our last command over here and let's go and run this command and just hold on a few seconds and let's see what it says okay we need to log in so let's log in so let us let us log in over here and just hold on and let us see what it's saying so you can see it has pushed all of the files so let's go and check our recipe over here and let us go to my blog that's wave and you can see we have our one file which is index and readme so it's also pushing up that id file so we may not use later we may remove it from git so we have index and you see we have a same file as here and let's go back and see my project and we have a, this is a demo app web app which is a readme.md file it's the same file that we created over here right so hope you guys have some understanding on how it works and if you have any queries or if you didn't understand anything do let me know and i will try to fix it and I'll also i'll try to create a new lecture or if you have any problem and understanding on it so i will see you in the next video till then have a great day